Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm back in the mighty land of Wales today in the Snowdonia National Park and we ventured down to the southern part of the National Park today and for today's hike we're going up Cader Idris. I've never done Cader Idris before, it's supposed to be absolutely stunning and within a few hundred feet of the car park you go straight into this fairly horrible ascent just because of how steep and short it is. So it's been a pretty brutal start to the hike. The scenery around here is just unreal. Waterfalls everywhere. And yesterday the weather was a bit rubbish. And just further down the valley, we went to Dol Gok, I think it's called, which is a waterfall hike and it was absolutely stunning. And like I said, it's the first time I've really been in this area of Snowdonia. We've had such a good couple of days, it's been awesome. So yeah, at the moment, there's no wind and fingers crossed the sunshine is supposed to show its face today. So I think it's going to be an awesome day. I'm going to crack on now because I'm struggling to talk and go up these horrible steps. There's not going to be too much talking today, but you'll get all the views. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it. And I forgot to say, Maxi's with us today. Hey! just made it to Lin Kau, spelt C-A-U, I think I'm pronouncing it right, and it is quite simply epic down here. Look at these views. So the hike up here was a lot longer than anticipated, quite steep. I think we've done 1,200 feet of elevation already, and we're nowhere near the top. This is definitely going to be a spot where I do a wild camp because it is epic. You can actually pay a farmer, I think, who owns the land a small sum because once you've got the landowner's permission, it's all good in the hood. The next part of the hike, we're going to go up this ridge here, all the way along 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 here. And I think the actual summit of Cadaridris is just over there. That isn't the actual summit, even though it looks like it from here. Max is having a great time showing us all how it's done. Spaniels are by far the best mountain dogs. <laughs> Such a dude. We've just spent about 20 minutes here getting photos for the famous Instagrammers over there. Didn't actually introduce them before properly. I'm out with Luce, who I briefly talked about on my last video as she took me up Trifan for the first time. We're out with Ian and we're out with Nicole all awesome people we've had a good laugh this weekend yesterday like i was saying we did a waterfall hike which was just absolutely stunning and then we went for a very very cold swim in the sea which was very interesting it was absolutely freezing i just can't get over these views i really need to explore snowdonia more this year i've been going to the lake so much recently trying to get all the wane routes that i kind of forgotten about it but every time i come here I just fall in love with it even more so yeah I definitely need to get out of here more this summer. Max has been leading the way the whole route 
Spaniels are just unbelievable how much energy they've got. I love them. Uh, proper mounted dogs. But yeah, we're going to crack on now. And I'll keep showing you these beautiful views. Unreal. just heading off the first kind of proper summit of the day i'm not too sure what it's called uh, that peak there there's a few different names on the map but i don't think it has a exact specific name if it does and you know let me know in the comments but the views the scenery how dramatic it is the big sheer drops it's absolutely awesome and i hope the footage does it justice i've been taking loads of photos with the big camera today and i can't wait to get home and look at them all and the weather it's just been absolutely beautiful considering it's february i've just been in a t-shirt and this little jumper all day and yeah it's just so lovely so now we're dropping off here the next stop is the actual summit of Kada idris and i'll try and show it's kind of hard to see here but just up there is the summit so not too far to go now i think we'll probably stop up there and have some lunch as well but yeah we're just taking it nice and easy taking in all the views it is just absolutely stunning we've just been talking saying how how lucky we are to get a day like this in february and we were going to do this hike yesterday because today is actually sunday and we're driving home after this so so the plan was to do it on saturday and have a chilled morning on Sunday and drive home but we saw the weather for today and we just thought we've got to wait until Sunday to do it and we're so glad that we did. I've just hit a really windy bit so I'll leave you here I'll probably catch up with you when we get to the top of Kader Idris. It's been an awesome day so far and I hope the footage that I've got does it justice for you guys because it is absolutely amazing today.
So we're just coming off the summit of Cader Idris. And yes, I do look like a bit of a lemon with my hood on, but it is absolutely freezing on this side of the ridge. This side is a lot more open and exposed and it is bitingly cold. So we're making our way off the top now. At a pretty decent pace because it's freezing. But yeah, the views from the top are absolutely stunning. It's a little shack slash bothy up there, which you can stay in. Had a quick look in it. It's a bit uninspiring as bothies go. There's not a lot in there. And like I was saying earlier, I definitely want to do a little wild camp up there. I think it'd be a really cool spot to do one. But yeah, we're just making our way down now. That's where you can kind of see where we went up this morning, up there. And now we're just heading down here. On the map, it doesn't really show an official footpath coming off this side. I've had a look on the OS Maps app and there's a few routes already saved on there that people have done. There's a Trail Magazine one that has the route on coming off this side of the ridge. So it might be worth having a look at that if you're going to do the route. And the forecasters finally got it right. We were a bit concerned this morning because it gave them sunshine all day and it was very cloudy first thing in the morning. But now, absolutely gorgeous bluebird conditions. Yeah, just a mega day, man. It's been awesome. We had a quick long stop up at the top. Really nice little sheltered bit where that little hut was. So we had some snackage up there and just regained some energy because we felt a bit shattered after the ascent up there. Oh, I'm taking that hood off, it like a lemon. <laughs> so we'll crack on back down this ridge now and I'll show you the rest of the beautiful views along the way. We've now rejoined back onto the path that we started today's hike on. The last couple of miles there were just absolutely gorgeous. We've really just taken our time, had a long sit down by the bridge, just taking it all in. That final descent just felt so much like spring and it's just got me so excited for more of this beautiful weather. Finally feels like we're at the back end of winter. I know we're probably still gonna get some disgusting weather at some point in the next couple of months, but yeah it feels a little bit like spring legs are well and truly shot this is my third hike i've done in four days so i'm ready for a sit down however we're all driving back to the peak district after this so we're going to be getting back very late tonight so work tomorrow is going to be an interesting one but completely worth it i'm even tempted to go to the beach after this just to catch a bit of golden hour and maybe a sunset and Cader Idris, if you've never done it, get yourselves down to South Snowdonia because it is just absolutely beautiful. There's so much to do in this area as well if the weather's not great. Like I was saying, yesterday we did a really low level waterfall walk and it was just gorgeous. Considering it's a Sunday and the weather has been like this, it's not been too busy really. Up in North Snowdonia, Ogren Valley, Snowdon itself will be absolutely rammed today. It's been so nice to explore somewhere different. Uh, and I'll definitely be coming back here at some point in the future. 
thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoy this video today i think is one of the first videos i've actually filmed with you know another group of people not on my own so some of you are probably wondering does this guy even have friends <laughs> yes i do have a few not too many but yeah it's been an awesome day out with some pretty awesome people i absolutely love them it's been great um so Luce, Ian, Nicole, thank you for an awesome day. And thank you all for watching the video. Thanks for all the love, all the support. It really does mean a lot. Next video, probably going to be the Lake District or Peak District. Not too sure yet. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.